Good morning. In his end time prophecies, what does Jesus warn us to be ready for? Today we're looking at Mark chapter 13, verses 14 to 20. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down into the house, nor enter to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in winter, for in those days there will be tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the, cre of the creation, which God created until this time, nor ever shall be. And unless the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh would be saved. But... For the elect's sake, whom he chose, he shortened the days. Jesus warns us to be ready for instant action. The abomination of desolation was the setting up of the Roman standards in the grounds right there near the temple. And so this was an actual sign, an actual thing that happened that came to pass. But Jesus was using this to foreshadow the development of what will actually happen in our last days. Now notice... When it actually happened, people remembered the sign. They knew what it was, and they, they were ready. They went to instant action. Th those that were believers went to instant action. And Jesus' warning was clear. Don't go back in the house. Don't go back into the field. Don't go and get stuff. Now is the time for instant, uh, instantly to obey what he said. And he said, don't go back for stuff. You have one mission at this time. Don't go back for something. Pray that you won't be in a special emergency. Pray that you won't be pregnant. Pray that it won't be uh, a time where there's a severe weather situation. Pray that you won't uh, have some kind of other emergency uh, when you need to be ready for instant action for Jesus. There will be extreme tribulation in those days, unlike anything ever before or anything that ever will be. And our passage is quite explicit. Unless God cut short this emergency, every single person would die. That sounds pretty extreme. That's where we know we're going because Jesus prophetically foretold it to us. But we're not here, we're not here to be afraid. By faith, we know we can come through just fine. We can trust him. We can trust him. We can. The destruction of the temple was more than the end of an epoch. It was, it was a foreshadowing of the final days, and that's where you and I live. That's where we fit on the hinge of history. It was a foreshadowing of the final end times, and this is what's called the little apocalypse. It's an echo of Matthew 24. We see it right here in Mark chapter 13. This is uh, helping us who will live at the end to know how to go. This is a very strong warning for you and I who might indeed see these very things prophesied of in our lifetime. I'm not predicting that, but we well might. Are we walking so closely with Jesus that we would recognize a sign from God and act instantly in obedience to it? That's our question. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for watching over us. Uh, we are not given this prophecy by Jesus to be afraid or fearful. He's not trying to cause us to tremble or go and hide under the bed. Uh, Lord, you want us to grow. You want us to be ready. And you're, you're being fearful faithful and fair to us by warning us ahead of time of the extraordinary emergency that is coming upon us as believers, as followers in Jesus. Please bless us, grow us, help us to be men and women of faith, to know how to act in faith to your directives. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We should be learning day by day to act in faith, to act instantly. So let's, let's do that. God be with you today.